Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. Let's move on to customizing and setting up our Lightroom watermarks. All right, so we're going to go into the edit menu, pull down to edit watermarks. Now we have two different watermark styles inside of Lightroom. One is a text-based watermark and one is a graphical watermark. And obviously for a graphical one, you're going to need a graphic. So let's start with a text-based uh, watermark. And what we're going to do is just type in whatever we want that watermark text to be. So I'm going to type in SR Lounge. And then we're going to go through and select our text options. This is pretty simple and straightforward. You can choose the font, the style, and the alignment and color right here. And you can also set a drop shadow. Now you can't really see it right now because it's kind of small, but there is a drop shadow there. So let's increase the size of this by dragging it out. You can also increase the size just by adjusting it straight from here with the proportion. Um, so you can actually see now there is a drop shadow underneath it. If I click here, you can see it appear and disappear. So we have fun, uh, we have controls as far as the opacity of that drop shadow, uh, you know how far it's offset from the original text, as well as the radius. That's how far it extends out from the text. Uh, and you can also change the angle of the drop shadow. So you guys can customize that however you like. Um, I'm going to say we want no shadow for right now. And obviously I would not let my watermark be that big and obtrusive unless you just are really proud of your work. So we're going to adjust the size down. Uh, I'm going to say about this size is good. We'll put it about 20, about 20%. Uh, and then we're going to adjust the opacity down a little bit too. So usually I like the watermark to be kind of translucent a little bit. So it kind of shows the image. It's not too distracting. Um, so you guys can go down to whatever opacity you guys like. And then you have different uh, size and, and basically uh, inset values. So these are really important to know. So proportional is going to basically make this the same size based on the image. So it's going to be a proportion of, let's say, 20%. We'll say this is a percentage. So it's going to be 20% uh, of that size regardless of the image. So if it's a larger image, this is going to take up the exact same amount of space in that larger image as it would in a smaller image proportionally. On the larger image, it's going to be larger, uh, a larger logo, of course, a larger copyright, of course. But proportionally, they're the same size in relation to that image. Now, if we have this set to fit, it's going to fit from edge to edge. If we have it set to fill, it's going to fill up even more space as it tries to fill the entire image with the logo. So obviously that's something that we don't want as well. Next, I'm going to go back to proportional and we're going to show you guys the inset options. The inset options are going to basically push the image uh, or push the copyright in on each image based on a certain kind of relative value. So let's say I want it to be four in and four, uh, four in horizontally and in vertically on every single image. That way it's going to place it kind of spaced into the image every single time it it, it stamps an image with our, our little watermark. So I always use the inset value so that the uh, watermark will appear in roughly the same space regardless of if the image is uh, you know, a vertical, a portrait aspect ratio, or a landscape, or image size, and everything like that. Next thing we have the anchor point, and the anchor point is going to basically determine you know where the uh, watermark is going to appear. So usually I'll either use bottom left or a bottom center anchor point. So if we choose bottom center, it's going to appear in the in the middle. And notice that once we select that, we don't have a horizontal inset option anymore because it's appearing in the center of the image. If we go back to the right side or the left side, we do have horizontal inset. But on the center, we do not because it centers it up perfectly. We do have our vertical inset, so we can change the height of where it appears. Um, but that was fine, kind of where it's at. If you guys want to change that, that's fine too. All right, so once you guys get this done, uh, you guys can save out this watermark to a new preset. Um, and I'd recommend that if you guys do use the watermark, use a text-based watermark, do save it now. Uh, now what we're going to do is actually set up a graphic watermark, which is going to look much, much better. And we're going to save that out because that's going to be the actual watermark that we use. So let's do that now. Let's go back up to the top. Let's choose graphic now. And what this is going to automatically do is bring up our uh, finder or our browser window, explorer window to choose our graphic. Now I have selected a, or I've created a little watermark for you guys. It's this slounge watermark.png file. It's a big file, uh, not, not size wise as far as megabytes, but uh, as far as just pixel size. So we need to customize the size. So here's what we're going to do. It automatically kind of took in the previous effects, the, uh, the previous settings that we had. And you'll notice that we don't have any more text options because obviously we're not using a text-based watermark. So we can kind of close that up. But we have the same controls over the watermark effect uh, and where it's being placed with an image watermark. So let's change the opacity. I'm going to say go up to around, we'll go up to about, well, let's see. I don't want it to be 100% because that's way too bold. 
but we'll go to maybe like 70%, no, maybe 50%. All right, now we have our proportion value. Again, if I set it to 100%, that's how big this file size was. Well, there's 100% right there. So this file at 100% is this big over the image, which is huge. So we need to set that proportion much, much smaller. And we're gonna set it to about, I think 15 is about right. Uh, again, fit is gonna fit it to the image left and right. Fill is gonna fill it the entire image top to bottom. So we don't wanna use either of those two unless you just wanna scream logo and not so much image, but we are gonna set it to proportional 15% and then we're gonna do vertical inset value of, we'll do plus three. And then we're gonna set the anchor point to the bottom center. If we do left, right, we can set the horizontal inset again, but again, I think it looks better if it's just right in the center underneath or on the right side, it looks pretty cool too. So either way, you guys can choose your preference. I'm gonna choose this bottom center and then we are done with our graphical watermark, so we're gonna save it out. So we're gonna save this as a new preset, and I'm gonna type in SLR lounge and hit create. Now you'll notice that I previously had a watermark for uh, Linegers of Photography, and if I choose that, you'll see that watermark appear, and then if I choose my SLR lounge, you'll see that one appear. So we have these nicely set to different uh, presets, watermark presets, so when we export, all we need to do is choose a watermark, and it's automatically going to stamp those watermarks with the uh, appropriate logo. All right, guys, let's go on to the next tutorial.